One of my favorite tools for small cap coins is Dex Screener. This is a free tool that not only lets you track the price action of small cap coins, but also lets you find them early on. What's up, my name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Dex Screener. This is basically a trading view for small cap or very new coins that are not available on trading view yet. But they offer a few super cool extra features that are not even available on trading view. Would you like to learn how to outperform the market with three secret metrics? Then you need to join our free masterclass that's taking place between April 5th and April 7th, 2022. We're so excited for this masterclass to finally go live where we share the best 12 metrics with you that let you time the market without having to rely on luck. So if you're ready to take your investing game to the next level, then go down in the description and click on the first link to sign up now. Again, it's completely free and it's jam packed with our best secrets and hacks. See you in class. All right, let's get started. So I'm now on Dex Screener. And first of all, I'll show you how to actually look at small cap coins, how to see the price action and how to do a whole lot of other things like how you can immediately go to a trading website and add those tokens to MetaMask. And then I'll also show you how you can even find those tokens early on. So the cool thing is that almost all small cap coins are pretty quickly available on Dex Screener, whereas it takes a lot longer or for them to become much more established to have them show on, on TradingView. Now, if you've never looked at a trading chart before or at the candlestick chart, or you don't even know what TradingView is, then I highly recommend that you check out my chart reading course for beginners, link on top of my head or in the description below. This is a five lesson course that walks you through all the basics and that will help you understand what we're doing on Dex Screen as well. So make sure to check that out and then come back to this video. Now, not all chains are available on Dex Screener. For instance, I think Terra Luna is not available here, or at least I haven't seen it in here. Nope, but a bunch of others. As you can see here, for instance, Avalanche, Phantom, Harmony, Metis, Arbitrum, and so on. And so what you can do is you can, if you just wanna have an overview of all the projects of all the coins in one ecosystem, then you can just click on that, for instance, Avalanche. And then if you scroll down here, you get all of those tokens that are available here. What I prefer to do is actually search for a specific coin. So for instance, if we wanted to look at Joe, Trader Joe's token, then I could type in Joe in here. And then you can see, so what's pretty well done is that you can see the icon so you know on what chain it is because some tokens are available on different chains. So you wanna make sure that you choose the right one. So that's on Avalanche. And then it's either combined with Vavax, so that's wrapped Avax. So the price action is still shown in USD, but this combo is actually much more accurate than Joe USDC because this is traded more often. You can see that with liquidity in here. So liquidity is 51 million here. And for Joe USD, you see it's only 7.4 million. So you always wanna make sure that you choose the token pair with as much liquidity as possible because this will be the most accurate and also it's less likely that you choose a scam coin because you need to make sure, because you really need to be careful, there are scam coins in here. So you need to do your own research before you just jump on a random coin. But this is an established coin and 51 million seems like a reasonable liquidity. So you can click on that. And now what you see, these, this is the candlestick chart I mentioned earlier, like shown in TradingView. So again, don't forget to check out my, my chart reading course for beginners if you're unfamiliar with that. So on the top here, you can choose between the time intervals. So I would definitely look at one hour or even higher, or maybe even at the daily. So that shows me the price action. Then down here, you've got the volume. And then if you wanna add some indicators, for instance, I like to use Bollinger Bands or RSI, then you can click on that sign here. And then for instance, type in Bollinger Bands then add that and then you see that's been added. So that works exactly the same as with trading you. Then down here, you've actually got almost something like an order book or you can see the, the buy and sell orders, which I find pretty cool and pretty useful because this gives you a, a pretty complete picture of what's going on. You can see that at the moment there are more and there are higher sell orders than buy orders. And then on the right, you've got all the important information. So you've got the USD price, liquidity, and that's the fully diluted valuation. So with if all the tokens were in circulation, that's what it would be worth. And that's the current market cap. Now the current market cap is not always accurate. So I have seen tokens where this looks really high and it's a very new token. And in that case, the, what, it, what often happens is 
that we don't have or that the dick screener doesn't have exact data and then they just take the fully diluted valuation and multiply it with the price but usually it's pretty accurate and that also shows you so this is not a very small cap coin but then if we chose another one for instance so that's one on metis that i that i've been monitoring for a while then you can see that so that shifts a lot but 17 million that's a pretty small cap coin and that and that's the really cool thing about dex screening you can find really small cap coins really early on then next up you can also add them to you can add a token to a watch list so all you have to do is you have to click on that and you can see here i've got two lists two lists i've got main list and meme coins so for instance i could choose put that to main list and then on the bottom left you can see here it says watch list so if you click on that those lists show up and you can see here now i'm in my main list or i could also choose my meme coins list but in the main list this now shows up so if we go back here to our main view what i really like as well and that's one of the coolest features i think are the price alerts and that's actually a topic for a different video so i'll create a different tutorial specifically for the price alerts don't forget to subscribe to be notified when that goes live so we'll skip that for now what i also really really like is that you can immediately hop on over to the decks where this token is traded on so again, you need to make sure that this is not a scam coin, that you're looking at the right token, but once you're sure about that, then you can see here it says trade on Tethys or it will say trade on whatever DEX. And then if you click on that icon here where it says open in a new window, or you can also click here, but I like this one, then it opens a new window and you immediately got the pair chosen because one of the most annoying things I think for small caps is that sometimes it doesn't load in the decks and you even copy pasted the, the token address but it doesn't work it doesn't show up super annoying so you don't have that issue if you go straight away from deck screener which i think is really cool then at the bottom right you've also got the website if they have one so they'll just show you whatever they find website twitter and discord so again you've got all the information compact on one page which i think is super useful because then you don't have to spend hours looking for things and what's also really nice is if you wanted to add a pair to metamask you can do that with this information here as well so you can see here that's the pair address and that's what you needed for metamask so I'll quickly show you so if you copy that token pair address and then you go into your metamask then you need to click on assets here then scroll all the way down and now tetis is actually already showing up but if that wasn't showing up in here you can click on import tokens and then paste that address in here and then it automatically chooses the to it automatically chooses the token symbol and token decimal and then you can click on add custom token and then import tokens so this is really neat because you've got everything in one place okay so that's how you can look at small cap coins at the price action and all the information you need about it now let's take a look at how you can actually find new small cap tokens early on now there are a couple of options on the left here apart from all of those chains you'll see here that it says trends new pairs gainers and losers so for one, you could look into trends because this shows you what has been trending recently. And on the top here, you can see that you can choose between the different chains as well. So if you're only interested in one particular chain, then you can just click on that. For instance, if I just wanted to see Polygon coins, then I could click on that, but this just shows me everything. And then for each token, you see the last five minutes, the price action of the last five minutes, one hour, six hours, and 24 hours. So right away, you can see, for instance, this one looks pretty crazy. So in the last 24 hours, that went up over 5,000%. And during the last five minutes, one hour, six hours, so that has just been pumping for the last few hours. Now, again, if you're looking for those very small cap, very new coins, you need to be very, very careful. So I can't stress that enough. Of course, none of this is financial advice and you really absolutely always need to do your own research, especially if you're looking for those super small coins. So for instance, I have no idea what that is. I mean, let's have a look at it just for demonstration purposes. So right away, what you can see is that the market cap is pretty small, though, so that's good. So if you want to gamble, because that's basically gambling, what you're doing, if you're going randomly into small cap coins, if you want to gamble, then definitely make sure it's a small cap at least and only put money in that you can totally afford to lose because you'll likely lose it. So just be real about that with yourself. But 
as you can see that has a pretty crazy run up now what you could do is if you really wanted to figure out what that is and see if it was a good trade then you can scroll all the way down now you see that there's no information about a website or anything like that but what you can do is you can search on twitter so that will just immediately post the cash tag in here now i don't see a whole lot yeah I don't know there's not much in here but you could do some research on Twitter for that space time token and things like that can get you really good returns in a really short amount of time but again it's super risky so I'm very rarely just going randomly into a small coin usually I wait for them to be a bit more established where I can actually do research on their different social channels and actually find out about if this project is something legit or if it's just another meme coin that's going to crash tomorrow but now if you wanted to trade it again you could just click here on trade on pancake swap and that will immediately show the pair so in here you'd have to import that token but again I think it's really useful that it immediately shows you the right pair so that's pretty cool now the other thing you can look at is new pairs so that's another interesting option here so this these are not necessarily only new tokens but it could also just be that a token has been paired with that an existing token has been paired with another existing token but again you have the overview of the price change five minutes one hour six hours and 24 hours so again that gets you a good overview of what is going on what has been going on recently for instance this one looks like it has been going up pretty crazily this is a new pair but what's also very interesting is that you get a warning on the top right so again as mentioned earlier there are a lot of scam tokens here so be very careful and also what it will tell you is if this is a new pair you always get the warning that it has been created within the last 24 hours and that means it's very risky and that rug pulls happen and stuff like that now if we look at the last interesting option that is called gainers and losers that is basically similar to trends because it just looks at what has had the biggest gains and what has lost the most amount so again you could for instance sort that if you wanted to look at the 24 hour price action click on that and then it sorts from the least best performing to the best performing or the other way around so this has been the best performing token and then it goes down like this so yeah this is basically everything you know, need to know in order to use deck screener to find new small cap tokens and to also look at the price action and then basically do everything out of deck screener to use it on exchanges and stuff like that now keep in mind the price alert tutorial will come up very soon so don't forget to subscribe to be notified about that and while you're down there don't forget to sign up for a free masterclass if you want to learn how to outperform the market with our three secret metrics that have been really helpful for us to get a much better performance than the regular market if you like this video hit the like button down below share with your friends and be sure to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye